Hey guys, Steve here from SEO Notebook. <clears throat> this is where I email weekly tips to over 9,000, almost 10,000 subscribers. Fuck, that's mind blowing. Um, today's note is going to focus on a tweet uh, by a guy named Jake. Um, Jake runs uh, this site, um, jsvxc.com, and he also runs an amazing site called Sheets for Marketers that have a ton of really cool um, templates uh, for Google Docs and Sheets and stuff like that. So um, do check those out, uh, great resource. Now let's get into um, Jake's tweet and uh, basically I'm going to, he uses the example for a personal injury lawyer. I'm going to use a different example for the keyword title loans, something that I know nothing about, literally didn't even know what title loans meant. I just knew that it was a niche that SEOs were in. So in doing this, I actually learned what title loans are and now I think I can rank for them. So let's get into it. The first thing you want to do is Google title loans Wikipedia just to find, you know, the article. And uh, here I found it and I'm going to go over to Site Explorer and paste that in. Now, what Jake recommends here is to check out the organic keywords this page is ranking for because Wikipedia pages usually rank for pretty good keywords. And he's trying to find uh, keywords here that have a clear intent. So um, things like maybe what is title loans, title financing, um, let's see, loans for titles. Um, there's probably a bunch here, but you kind of have to go through this and, um, and find them. So that's one of the techniques. That's one that, you know, most of us are probably familiar with, but there's another really cool technique that he does that I'm going to get into now. So I've got that Wikipedia page on my clipboard and I'm going to go to a site called missing topics slash topics. And this is a site, this is a tool by um, Daniel Cutridge. This is somebody um, I know through Facebook and I would call him like a Facebook friend. Uh, re definitely respect a lot of all the stuff that Daniel does. And what we're going to do here is um, submit this URL and it's going to find a bunch of entities for us. So um, these are all the entities on that Wikipedia page. And I'm going to go here and copy that to my clipboard and then go over to a Google Sheet and dump them in. Now you can see that there's a lot more here. I've cleaned up these to be very relevant to car titles and title loans. So I have a very clean list here. And the next thing that Jake recommends that we do is go over to um, Keywords Explorer. I'm going to make sure we search for the United States. And we just basically paste in that list. Now we're going to go over to matching terms in Ahrefs and we are going to go to questions. Now here's where the magic happens, right? From that list of entities, we have 6,000 keywords and high volume, high, you know, um, uh, intent, uh, sorry, high, you know, high value keywords, right? With, with focused intents. So we have things like, what is a secured loan? How do title loans work? What are unsecured personal loans? Um, let's see what else, what does clear title mean? Um, all of these keywords slash questions are going to be the type of clusters that we want to create to build relevance for title loans. And we did that in under three minutes, right? So um, this technique is pretty powerful. And um, that's why I wanted to make it the topic of today's note. So, you know, big thanks to Jake. Um, I think, you know, he got a bunch of accolades on Twitter for this and rightfully so. And, you know, he also um, impressed me enough to, to make this uh, dedicate a note to it. So um, huge thanks to Jake. And uh, yeah, really look forward to hearing how this did for you guys. And do check out his example um, from uh, with personal injury lawyer as well. Works in a bunch of niches. 
And he also talks about using um, keywords everywhere as an example, but for mine, I wanted to use hrefs instead. All right, well, I'm Steve Toth from SEO Notebook. If you want more tips like this, just go to seonotebook.com and subscribe. All right, thanks guys, see you next time.